Is this not called the house of prayer? So is it not? Is it not the house my father called the house of prayer? Why do you turn it to the den of thieves? That means why do you turn it to a habitation of manipulation? Because what thieves God does in your life is to manipulate you. Just like they manipulated my young man and collected a hard end money, but thank God it's a titan. And God has put the, the rope in their neck. They vomited the money. The rest of the money, they will not open so they bring it here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, some people say I pray short prayer. Do you think that because I pray short prayer because I have prayed long. If you know the hours I pray, even just saying the word is enough for you. You are blessed, it's enough. If you know the hours I invest in prayer on a daily basis. Hallelujah. And I'm talking about once in a while. So when I tell you you are blessed, you are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When he said he was in all city, you know, it was just like they said to Jesus, Thy friend Lazarus is very sick. He knows that he was going to die. He said, there is no need going. It is to the glory of God. He said, for our friend, I was sleeping. He said, hey, he's sleeping. Now let go and wake him up. Uh, you could not understand what I'm talking about. I'm not saying he's sleeping. I'm saying he's dead. Dead. Otiku. Yamutu. How sad my first. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> so, he went there. Ah, okay. <laughs> he did not die for this. We told him to come and pray. But the man has already prayed to wake him up before he arrived. So, when he arrived, he said, Remove the stone. What? He's already smelling. I don't know how smelly your case is. I don't know how rotten your kids have been. God will bring it back alive. Fresh in the name of Jesus. I said, Fresh in the name of Jesus. Soul shall live. I said, Soul shall live. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The greatest honor, the greatest honor, the greatest honor a man can ever have. Is to be blessed by God. To be what? Yes. Blessed by God. Someone say, I am, blessed. I am blessed. Do you know what it means to be blessed by God? He said, and Jesus said to Peter, He said, Simon, you are blessed. You are what? Blessed. You are blessed. Someone say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Someone say, I am blessed. I am blessed. When you are blessed, you have no need to look for honor. Honor becomes your identity. Hallelujah. Matthew 16, right? Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm honored. I'm excited today because of the honor that someone will come into this morning. In the name of Jesus. Verse 17. He said, God has blessed you. God has what? Yes. Blessed you. I want you to understand it from this point. God has blessed you. It's not about to bless you, but he has already blessed you. Someone says, God has blessed you. I'm already blessed. I'm already blessed. I'm already blessed. I'm already blessed. He said, God has blessed you, Simon, son of Jonah. Jesus said, for my father in heaven has personally, somebody say personally, personally, say he has personally revealed these to you. This knowledge 
Yahshua was personally revealed to you by my Father, not on earth but in heaven. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm honored. I am honored. Because I'm blessed. Because I'm blessed. I am honored. I am honored. Because I'm blessed. So that is the greatest honor you can ever have. Don't go about looking for honor. Don't go about looking for things where they will honor you. Just know that go with that consciousness, that mentality that I am blessed. God has blessed me. God has what? Blessed. And when we talk about blessing, what people think about is material. But let me tell you, the material things cannot endure if the spiritual blessing does not rest upon you. It's not just having prosperity, but having a posterity. Joseph said to Joseph said to his brothers. He said, you sold me. You thought you sold me here for evil. But God sent me here. Why they were selling, God was sending them. It takes honor for God to send you. And there is someone for people to sell you. That means they have where you are prize you and put a price on you. But when God sent you, you are priceless. There's no price on your head. Somebody say, I'm priceless. I'm priceless. Because, I'm blessed. because I'm blessed. Because I'm blessed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So shall it be for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So, and that blessing came by revelation. Can I hear somebody say revelation? revelation. It came by revelation that was personally delivered by God. To Peter. Jesus said, Peter, my father in heaven has personally delivered this to me. This revelation, this knowledge. While other disciples were scratching their head for what to, for what to answer Jesus. Because Jesus, this was at the, at the last moment, the last days of Jesus' ministry on earth. And he said, who do men say I am? Who do men say I am? Many of us don't even know the God that we are serving. We only know him by what people say he is. Do you know God personally? If you who do men start by saying, Who do men say I am? Says, some say you are Jeremiah, some say you are Elijah. It's okay, okay, okay. Some say you are Jonah. It's okay, but who do you say I am? So they didn't know, and they've been following him for over three years. For how long have you been a priest? How long have you been in church? There are people who are with people, they don't even know who that person is. They have friends, they have husbands, they have wives, they have children, but they don't really take time to know who this person is. Only for them to discover at the end of the day that they were actually working with a very wrong person. Hallelujah. He said, Who do you say I am? They were scratching their heads. <laughs> Some will have said, You are a teacher. But Peter said, Thou art Jesus, the Son of the living God. The son of the living God. You are a replica. The same with the father. And that came as a result of an encounter that you have had with Jesus. Your life begins to come with the moment you encounter God. The value of your life and the quality of your life begins 
to improve the moment you encounter God. So, if there's anything you need to do for yourself as a child of God, is to every day seek to encounter God. Show that you want the God of yourself. You are not being carried away by anything. You know that this is the God I am serving. He knows that this is the Son of the living God. And he takes God to reveal Jesus to you are the son of the living God. Even in the Old Testament, he took God to reveal to a hidden king who was the champion of an idol worshiper that I see three, four men walking in the forest. But the countenance, the resemblance of the fourth one is like the son of the living God. So which means that the Bukhamiza saw Jesus in the fire. He saw Jesus on the fire. May God open the eyes of your enemy to see God walking with him. May God open your eyes to see Jesus. When you see Jesus, you see everything. You know, the reason why people get depressed when people get frustrated in life is because they have not really gotten the revelation of Jesus. And somehow, I wonder what are they doing in church? All the, all the church will come every other day. What are you doing? When you have the revelation of Jesus, nobody, I mean nobody will encourage you. You don't need, you will not need anybody to encourage you. You can't be rest. And you will be restless until you are always in his presence. That's why like David will say. He said, I was glad. When is it? Let us go to the That's because he knows that he's going to get a fresh revelation of Jesus. The difference between David and Saul was that David knew God that caught him, that ordained him. And if there's anybody that went through difficulties, was David. Hallelujah. So it take God to reveal Jesus to you. It take God to reveal, to give you revelation. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 2. He said, it is the glory of God to conceal a thing. God pride, God cherished to hide things from men. This is the things of God are not gotten on the surface. The things of God are not gotten on the surface. You must go deep. You must make a strife. It's not by lying on your belly. I'm hungry. He said it is God's privilege to conceal things. To conceal things. God delights in concealing things that are vital. The reason why gold is not common is because it is expensive. And is hidden in the world. See, but it is the king's privilege. In that version, render it say this: "We say it is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search it out." So, which means for you to have what God has concealed is an honor. For you to be able to receive what God has concealed, that's why it's called a revelation. Because every revelation elevates your life. Praise God. So knowing, knowing, knowing secrets or having revelation of what God has conceived is an honor 
which can only be revealed by God. You know, Daniel was saying in Daniel chapter 2, verse 27, he said, I, I wish every one of us will be able to grasp what I'm saying to you. You'll see your life change. It, it takes, it's easy for life to change. All you just need is revelation. All you need is what? Revelation. All you need is for God to revelate, to give you revelations of things that he has conceived. They've been walking with Jesus and yet they didn't know who he is. Until he took God and Jesus said, What? It's not man, don't touch me. This is not man, it is my father that personally touched me this. That personally touched me this. That I am Jesus, the son of the living God. The best thing that can ever happen to you in life is to know that Jesus is the son of the living God. Hallelujah. That's why like Daniel will say in Daniel chapter 2 verse 27. He said, there is a God in heaven who reveals secrets. When they sought to find out what did the king do, what was the interpretation, everybody was confused. The man had a dream. The dream troubled him, but he didn't remember the dream. And he knows that he needs to know the revelation of that dream so that he knows how to honor himself. Because he knows that before the word of God, the Holy Spirit came to reveal, to unveil the mysteries of the word of God to us. God revealed himself to people in the dream, just like he still does. These days it's on pocket. But it's actually when you wait, if, if it's only dream that you know you see the things of God, then that means your spiritual state is so low. You need to up your game. Hallelujah. You need to up your game. Yes, God does. It is when you are totally, totally spiritually low or spiritually baby, that's when God begins to show you something. That's Old Testament style. But now God revealed himself through the world. Hallelujah. Amen. But it takes God to personally open up the world for you to see. And that is what we bring to life. That's why the Bible says, the entrance of your world, the entrance of thy world, give that me light. You need to have the, you need to have the word of God entering into your heart, lighting up your heart. And that's why David will say, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. And if you notice David's life, most of the things was not by dreams. It was by chewing and uri, which is which was the word of God as an act. He was always making a choir. And God was speaking to him. Praise the Lord. No wonder you can see a lot of his records today in Psalms. Because that is the highest form of revelation. And who is the word? Jesus. Who is the word? Jesus. He said, he said in Daniel chapter 2, verse 27. When everybody was confused and they didn't have anybody to reveal to the king who. What he dreamt and the interpretation. Then they told his voice, his colleagues, his friends. Say, guys, we are finished. If you don't know the secrets, listen, if you don't know the secrets of life, you are finished. If you don't know the secret of life, you are. You must know the secrets of life. Lift up your eyes and say, Father, Father open, my eyes open my eyes to the secret of life. Secret of say, Father, Father open, my open my eyes to the secret of life. The best thing that can ever happen to you is to know the secret of life. God will 
we grant you that secret today. He said, God answered in the presence of the king and said, The secret which the king had demanded cannot, cannot the wise men, the astrologers, and the magicians, and the magicians and soothsayers show to the king. Verse 28. He said, But there is a God. Someone 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 said, I have that God who reveals secrets. Someone said, Father, who reveal the secret of my life. They see, reveal the secret of life unto me in the name of Jesus. Can you just imagine when you wake up, you know what to do per second? Your life will not be the way you are now. Am I talking to someone? Your life will change. Because your progress in life is determined by the secrets you know. I think I'm talking to myself. You want to make any form of progress? It's a secret you know. What secrets? The Bible says it is the glory of the Lord to conceal it. He, he, he delights, he cherishes in concealing things. And it's also, it becomes your honor to search it out. Hallelujah. So when we come to church, it's not just for miracles and healings and deliverance. You know, on Friday, some of you were here, I was ministering to a bunch of pastors. And I walked to her. I said, You are nowhere. And she did not know she's nowhere. I don't know if you were there, you saw this. I said, You are nowhere. And she said, No, you're nowhere. And that's the worst thing that can ever happen to you. You are nowhere. You don't know you're nowhere. But you are nowhere. You know that. You are nowhere. But you don't understand you are nowhere. Praise God. I said, Something is eating you. As you said, he said they have told me before. I went somewhere, they told me I was seeing her for the first time. That is secret. Yes. That is what? Secret is power. It is with that secret I'm able to bring her out from that that be eating her. If you don't have secrets, your life will be a mess. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about secret because that's the thing people's life finding out what they are doing. When they go ahead, you don't enter the house. Eh? Let's meet. You know, because of it. I don't say I don't go enter the house. I say, I say. Secret. That is gossip. And every gossip in that gutter. Praise the Lord. It is what God personally revealed. He said, my father in heaven, personally, reveal this to me. Lift up your right hand again. Use it to touch your head. And lift it up again. And say, Father, father personally, personally, reveal secrets of life to me in the name of Jesus. May that be your portion. If not for the secrets that Elijah had, the king of Syria would have finished him. He would have finished him. If not for the secret that he had, the king of Israel, when they called him and said, People are eating their children, he would have finished him. The same people said, Come and bring me the head of Elijah. I see if you want to ask women to be frightened at you too. And you know what he said? He said, That fox. Is coming to in you before you happen. You must know, you must know that calamity is coming before you happen. So that you are not cut away. Because there is always evil. But God needs to open your eyes to the secret so that you will know how to counter it. Hallelujah. And the king said, There's somebody that is giving the king of Israel for which let us not catch him. He said, There's one Elijah. He's the chief. 
He's the director of CIA in that country. Let's go and arrest him. As they were coming, he just blinded him. On the day around somewhere, the enemies came say, give them a bad man, a bad man. Let it. Praise the Lord. May God blind your enemies. In the name of Jesus. May God blind your enemies. In the name of Jesus. You must have the ability to know anything before it happens. From today. I say from today. The enemy will never catch you on our ways. I say the enemy will not catch you on our ways. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, just imagine the honor that that secret that Daniel had brought the secret of knowing the Bukhadisar's dream and the interpretation. Imagine the honor that he brought to you. Just imagine the honor. Verse 47 of the last scripture. Daniel chapter 2, verse 46. A king that everybody fears, even Daniel. By the Holy Spirit called him the King of Kings. The Bukhadnezzar was called the King of Kings. That means he was God on earth. Hallelujah. He said, Then the King the Bukhadnezzar fell upon his face. What made him fall? Eh? <laughs> A man that could not be def defeated by any army known on earth, but was falling by secret. I pray the secret that God will reveal to you will bring down your enemies on their face. Amen. Not on their knees, so on their face. Amen. On their face. Amen. On their face. Amen. Say, let the kingdom of God fall upon the face and worship who? Worship God. Angel. He's God. What did he worship? And you know what that did? He collected him. He collected the worship. He didn't say that up. The man was there. That was what that did. <laughs> he allowed the Bukhari to remain on the ground, worshiping him because he has a secret. Can I talk to these people here? The secret that will make governments, that will make presidents, ministers to bow before you. Receive in the name of Jesus. I say, receive in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the sickness all that don't know, you will know it. And they will bring them to power before you. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. I said, so shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bow before him. Why? Because he has access to the secret of them. But how did that secret came? It came by prayer. It didn't come by wish. It came by walking in the spirit. When you walk in the spirit, people that walk in the flesh will bow before you. I think I'm talking to myself here. The people that walk in the flesh bow before you. They don't get their position on earth, they will bow. I said they will bow. There is any man that wears the kind of power that the Bukhadnezzar are wears up to this moment. As a king, then they call him and say, You are the king of kings. This is the secret of your dream. By the time he was finished, the man was shaking. There is a way you speak to people to be vibrating. They can't, they are, they can't do that because of what you know. I pray that God will give you a knowledge. Yes. That we wrap, that we shape foundation in the name of Jesus, that we bring the high and the mountain and the, and the mighty before you in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. He bowed, he came bowing and worshiping a small boy. Daniel was just about 15, 16 years. The Bukhadnezzar would have been in his sister. Can you imagine a man that is insisting worshiping a six years old boy? Secret. Secret will make you to be older than one or two years old man. Oh, I, I might talking to myself here. Hallelujah. Say something to the Father. I need that secret. 
and in their secrets. It shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. That's why Jesus said to Peter, God has blessed you, meaning God has honored you. That honor gave him the keys of heaven. And there are just two keys. There are just two keys. It is the revelation of God that makes you to be able to handle that key. Those two keys. What is those keys? Those keys. Keys to bind. Keys to what? Bind. To bind. Anything on earth. Things to lose. Anything on earth. Bind and lose. There is a key to bind. Bind means to restrict. That means you can restrict sickness. You can do what? Hallelujah. You know, that's why sometimes you see, when you see, I mean, if we're here on Monday, you see, you know, a sister that said God was, God was delivered. Held by the devil, but it's not a switch within, within a twinkle of an eye. Baptized with the Holy Ghost. Why? Because I got the key. Because of what? Many of you are busy looking for key to estate, key to the latest title, key to the to some offices, key to people's hearts. Look for the key of heaven. All of these things will be there. Listen to me. If you have key to a palace or to a castle, you know to be struggling with the key for the bedroom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did, did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. You are busy looking for key to kitchen. <laughs> oh God, I'm hungry. Give me food. You are busy looking for key to wardrobe. Instead of you to look for key to the main door, just open. When you open, eh? Yes, when you open, everything is like wardrobe. Kitchen you know. Eh? What does it Bedroom. You know there are some houses that have service. That would also be your kind of house. Yeah. You know there are houses that have safe. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Somebody was telling me in Jorake, he said thieves are not coming to his house. You know, he said to me, he said, do you notice? Yeah, yes, we're talking. He said, do you notice that this time thieves do not come to people's house again to steal? He said, because there's nothing to steal. <laughs> they don't wait for you outside, collect you, then you begin to call your relative. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Can I pray for somebody? Every thief waiting for you outside. In the name of Jesus. To collect you, to be calling your name of calling your relative. In the name of Jesus. Shall I die before you are? I said, shall I die before you are? In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. I said, so shall it be. I said, so shall it be. Hallelujah. May you have these keys. The keys of heaven. One, to restrict the devil. To restrict every form of evil. Another, to lose prosperity. Lose money. Am I just somebody? Lose favor. Lose joy. Lose peace. I lose peace in your life. Oh, I think I'm talking to myself. I lose healing in your life. In the name of Jesus, I bind poverty in your life. I bind sickness in your life. I command and let them be restricted. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. That's why when he told me that day, he told me, he said, Daddy, I paid the money before I called you. I said, Why did you not call me? You are kept right now. Praise the Lord. Since you are wiser than your father, you should have a man. I played it. He didn't know how to talk to me. 
I said, Father, this young man is a titan. I mean, heavy, heavy. You can't chop what I'm supposed to chop. He cannot be eating the same plate I eat. It's not possible. Those are pigs and dogs and I'm God. Hallelujah. I say he's a titan. Can I be able to speak that for you? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Father, Father. deliver the keys in my hands. hands. Deliver the keys in my heart. Oh my God. I want to ask, what? What all can be more than this? For you to have a keys, two major keys to operate on this thing. That's all you need. Let me tell you, you don't need money. You don't need friends. You don't need men. You need nobody. All you need is a key to restrict and key to allow. To do what? That's all you need. Now you go and start struggling with someone who has collected your key. Your for your house. Your own key. For your own car, he said, please give me a right. And as you enter, he said, he said I don't have change. You look for change. Praise God. From today, you begin to enjoy what belongs to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. This arm was because more than any other disciples that were following Jesus as at that time was because of Peter had personal encounter with Jesus. You remember when he lent him the boat and he said, cast your net on the right hand side. He said, with all I know, I suspend it. You know, many of us, when we come to church, we still carry what we know in the secular into the church. And it's, it's, it's not been working, but you keep managing us. Secular matter is good. Acquire it. It's needful. But it should, it should be as directed by God. Because the time will come that those things you think you know can become stupid and useless. Look at the prayer that David. Because David just had the key. When David had Ahitophel, and Ahitophel was the empty room of his kingdom. When he heard that he has joined Absalom, everybody said, David, your own is finished. Eh? My own is finished, but I have the key. He said, Father, turn his advice to foolish. Yes, and let me tell you, the advice was not foolish. Yes, but it was like it was rejected. Yes, and when your advice is rejected, it's not foolishness. Yes, what do you reject? Yes, I said, what do you reject? Yes, eh? Something that is foolish. Yes, but the advice he gave Absalom was what would have enabled him to capture David. Yes, but the man has the key. Oh, you can do anything, but I have the key. It was if Ahitophel retained his gift of cancer that can never wise cancer. But David had the key. So you can hold everything but hold the key. Give me the key. Someone said, give me the key. Hallelujah. He was holding the key. He said, Father, let the cancer of Ahitophel be turned to foolishness. And God said, I saw you. And when you do ask Adam, he said, I'm going to the old man, just go away from me. He said, Me, old man? He said, Okay, no problem. Since I'm old, let me just end it. And he killed himself. Never available to offer counsel. He cannot talk to somebody else. In the name of Jesus, those who are advising your enemies, I said, Those who are advising your enemies, Shall be done to foolish. They shall hang themselves. They shall kill themselves. In the name of Jesus. It takes an encounter with God. A 
encounter with the world. When I tell you come for every service, this is not because I want to see your face. It's so that you can encounter God. Yes, sir. It's so that you can encounter God. Hallelujah. So I can encounter God. You don't know which service will encounter God. The sister that God visited on Monday, Victoria, he said he was not in church on Sunday. He said he was frustrated and tired. And he, was, he had made up her mind to just go away. And he go away, she doesn't know where he was. You know, when the man takes off and he's going to a destination, he doesn't know, you know what I mean? A lot of me wants to go. He said, they asked what us. Where are you going to? When he packed his clothes, he said, he's done. If it's not up there, I am disgraced. He's not coming back. That's a journey to nowhere. We were praying here, we were praying here. And all of a sudden, my eye just stopped. And God said, You need to stop that song. Stop that this, this, this. And I brought that. I said, You are well. You are not well. well. You are not well. And you know, he said, Yes. He said, But you don't know what is wrong with you. But today, that will be off. Those of you where they go up. Yes, Instantly, the power of God, she became, she was filled with the Holy Ghost after the spirits had been dislodged. That wanted her to leave and go to nowhere she understands. What of it was not church? What of it not say, let me try for the last time? You know, many of us we say we are too busy. Many of us we say we don't have, I don't have time. We, we, we have so many excuses. And the devil will begin to furnish you those very convenient, genuine excuses to keep you out of the presence of God so that you will not have access to your king. You won't have access to your king. And then he can take control of your premises. Because anybody that has access to your king will have access to your premises. We were preaching here this morning, John Walker service, and a house of our deepness was born, and I was talking about if you serve God, God will preserve you. Yes, sir. You have a testimony. Yes, if you serve God, God will and she actually left the house out of the hurry to meet what to be to, to come to worker service on time because you know you come late to my face from the front. But why was it? God was preserving. If you become a seed, if you become a seed, God will ensure that He feeds you. Hallelujah. Second account. He was the only one that had the privilege, the honor of walking on water. No man has ever been able to walk on water. He said, if that be the Lord, bid me come. He takes an encounter. He takes knowing a man. He knows that this is not just Jesus. But you know, other disciples were looking at him. I'm sure James was there. James, James, you say, James? John will say, yeah. Talk to James. James, talk to your friend. James, you won't walk on Peter. You won't walk on, on, on water. Because you saw. Jesus, what you want to do, try what Jesus He said, if that be thee, beat me. I just want to hear your word because I know what your work can do. He said, come, just come. Bam, bam, bam. The next thing, you know, in that two further. Many of us, when you see storm, you run away from church. You know? Hallelujah. Like when he when he when he saw storm, he, he stopped chatting. But we have to hold on to God because of his previous obedience. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because of his previous obedience. Praise the Lord. And I know you will also be this man. And I know. Thank you, Jesus. 
Hallelujah. That will be your song this afternoon. I said that will be your song this afternoon. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody bless it. The greatest one.